So hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 16 of our season 3 on F1 Manager 23. Now if you didn't watch the last episode in Monza, my word it was magical because what happened? Well, Lando Norris won the Grand Prix and Pierre Gasly got a fantastic podium towards the end. You really need to go back and watch that one. If you didn't watch it, we beat a Ferrari on the day as well. The Tifose weren't exactly happy. They were happier on our live streams. If you want to check those out, shameless plug there. I know, but what does that mean for the championships? Well, constructors-wise, at the moment, we are the second best constructor. Red Bull have got it wrapped up already, and they're 289 points in front of us, but we, crucially, are 31 points ahead of Ferrari. Mercedes down in P4, Aston Martin in p5 driver standings wise max verstappen is leading the way on 333 points but george russell's in p2 and lando norris is in p3 doing very very well he's well in front of the best ferrari driver which is checo perez pierre gasly is up to p9 after some fantastic results recently of course we will just show you the drivers for the F2 and the Constructors, and of course the Constructors for the F3 and the Drivers. Kyle Collett still doing very, very well, but it's quite tight at the top between him and Ollie Gray in F3. Now, just to bring you on to the race we've got this weekend, it's Singapore. Now, this is a track where we've got to be economical with our engines, our parts. We know about the cost cap um, that we are monitoring very closely. If we just have another quick look at it, 2.8 million remaining. I do want to get some research on next season's Cardon as well. So this race might be a tough one for us, but you never know. We're in good form. 63 laps round here. Car attributes, low speed cornering, very, very important. We aren't the best at that, it must be said. There normally is a safety car around here as well, so it, anything can happen in Singapore. So it's going to be a really, really interesting Grand Prix, and I want your, your input now in the comments on this one. If we are to stay at Andretti Cadillac next year, A, do you think we should be doing, and B, if we do, do we renew Pierre Gasly's contract, or do we look to someone else? Let me know if you've got any, uh, any ideas down in the comments of course i'll take them on board i'm not quite as in front as i normally am at the moment so i'd be really keen to get your ideas on that but all that being said i'm going to get through practice and i'll see you in singapore for the singapore grand prix this is it then final laps in q3 i said this might not be our circuit my word we are looking very very racy this weekend pierre gasly's currently sat in p3 but Lando Norris, green through sectors one and two, goes P3 ahead of his teammate. Pierre Gasly isn't improving at the rate of not stays P4 for the time being. As we just fast forward it on, it is the two Red Bulls, but they are going to be in front of only the two Andretti Cadillacs because we are going to have a second row lockout with Lando Norris and Pierre Gasly. We have looked very, very racy this weekend, but we have got moderate rain on Sunday. Let's have a look at the strategy. Right then, guys, strategy-wise, we are going to be starting on the medium compound tyre because that should get us to the wet weather period around lap 25. I'm expecting safety cars and all sorts today. So that should get us to it. Then we've got intermediates right to the very end. It's as simple as that. We're going to underfuel the car, obviously, with the rain coming later on. But P3 and P4, let's see if we can get these Red Bulls. If Pierre Gasly's feeling the pressure, he's certainly not showing it. What a day for them, starting on the second row. Holding on to fourth will be a challenge in the race, though. And the time has come. Let's go racing. And this is it. The Singapore Grand Prix. And it slides out. And away we go. And away we go. And straight away, you will recognise Max Verstappen is on the hard compound attire. Very interesting choice from the Red Bull guys and if Lando Norris can get round the outside of George Russell he could possibly look to attack his team here but straight away Lando Norris looking for moves early doors of course we want to make sure that our cars get through turns one and two comfortably and don't smash into each other George Russell is diving left and right trying to either protect his teammate or maybe overtake him as well but Max Verstappen leads away on the hard compound tyre from Russell Norris and Gasly Day in formation in three and four. Valtteri Bottas again, ladies and gentlemen. I asked for recommendations at the start. Valtteri Bottas has been an incredible performer in recent races. Signs in P6, Stroll P7. Then comes the two Ferrari boys of Leclerc and Perez, who will be looking to gain places. We do have a VSC. We have a red flag. Red flag, red flag on circuit straight away. The Singapore Grand Prix is not even a lap old. And we've got a red flag. Let's have a little look at what's Daniel happened Ricardo. here. Daniel Ricciardo on the hard compound tyres at the back. 
Oh my That's word, it's a free car pile up, four car pile up. That is going to cost a lot, a lot of money for a lot of teams. And what this does do is ensure that we don't get the information on whether the wet weather's here. So, going to be very interesting now. Restarts in 20 minutes. That should be about time when the wet weather comes. Right then, guys, we are going again. Everyone is on the soft compound tyres because this is going to be a sprint. And then the rain will be coming very shortly. We are expecting rain very, very shortly indeed. Both on the soft compound attire. Can Norris and Gasly maintain the positions? This time Bottas is a little bit more racy in to turn one. But we do manage to hold him off with both Andretti Cadillacs. And Lando Norris is giving chase to the two Red Bulls. Once again, Bottas in P5, Stroll P6. We had four DNFs on lap one of this race. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. What a pile up in Singapore. And it must be said, Pierre Gasly is having to fight for his place here because the Audi, the Audi, not the Audi, the Audi of Valtteri Bottas is causing a lot, a lot of problems for Pierre Gasly at this moment in time. We are still under fuel on the car, but we are expecting rain very, very shortly as we start to settle into this race. Let's have a look at the track details. It's basically going to be intermediates all the way towards lap 50 so we're gonna have to do a little bit of jigging around on the strategy but Verstappen leads from Russell Norris and Gasly P3 and 4 4 DNFs and those are Sonoda, Gio, Ricardo and Oscar Piastri he joins his bike on lap 6 and as you can see our two guys are going at it Ammer and Tongia because Gasly and Norris have been exchanging DRS they've been told not to fight each other too strongly because I'm more concerned about catching these two Red Bulls going side by side like this he's not helping either of our causes but the rain is incoming it's the two Red Bulls from the two Andretti Cadillacs it's who we pull the trigger first with we're not going to double stack so we've got to get these pit stops absolutely right lap 6 lap 10 and because our lads have been very very clever we're swapping the drs as you can see we are now on the back of two red bulls namely verstappen and russell the rain is coming down but it's not pouring down yet here in singapore the top 10 as it stands is still verstappen russell norris and gasly strolls in p5 bottas p6 signs leclerc perez and ocon this pit lane is going to get very very busy in a couple of laps time we are just looking now at when this downpour is coming more crashes on circuit and this time it's Mick Schumacher. Conditions are getting very, very tricky and he just taps the wall. I mean, it's not held by the Alfa Romeo Haas there. But Mick Schumacher apologising once again and not having a good time of it in the Audi Sport car when Valtteri Bottas at this moment is in P6. It must be said the rain is starting to get heavier. We've pulled out a 7.5 second gap on Lance Stroll. The top four are in a league of their own today. I'm sounding a bit like James Gordon there. Uh, fortunately, I don't look like him that much anymore. But no, we're still... We are expecting to be coming in in the next lap or so. So it's just about getting these pit stops right. We have got a car coming in and we've just got one of our cars coming in. And that is Lando Norris. P.A. Gasly has stayed out. The Red Bulls have double stacked. We are just going to put the intermediates on for P.A. Gasly. But this is it now. We need P.A. Gasly to get around this track as quickly as he possibly can. The Red Bulls are double stacking. Everybody's in. Pierre Gasly has decided to stop out. So this is crucial for us here. We need a good pit stop here for Lando Norris. Is it a decent stop? It is. And he gets away well as well. And he's out in front of George Russell. We've overtaken one Red Bull. Gasly's still out. Gasly is the only one who didn't pit on that lap. But I felt it was worth not double stacking. Whether that's going to pay dividends, I'm not sure. But Lando Norris is back out in net P2 ahead of George Russell. He's going to be trying to get these tyres bang up to temperature now. Is Lando Norris pull away from his teammate. These pit stop issues happening. We're going to have a little look at this, to be fair. Because if this was part of a double stack, Checo Perez is just sat there with the rain. It's all happening in the pit boxes. Pierre Gasly stopping out might be a masterstroke. We will have to see Checo Perez. My word. He was like he was sat on the M25 there, was uh, Sergio Perez. But Pierre Gasly will come back when he's into the pits. And into the pits comes Pierre Gasly. Now, how much time has Pierre Gasly lost here? This is a crucial part of this because Lando Norris, as we can see, going round. But Gasly trundling his way into the pit box. This is absolutely crucial for Pierre Gasly. Did we do the right thing in not double stacking? It's a decent stop. From our guys now, Lando Norris. Where is Lando Norris? Coming down the pit straight. George Russell is coming down as well. Pierre Gasly making his way out of the pit lane. Lance Stroll just coming onto the start finish straight. Gasly is out. Russell's ahead of him, but that is not the worst stop in the world. I think 
We possibly got that just about right. All right. Lance Stroll's caught up to us a little bit. But Pierre Gasly now has got the tyres to get towards the end. Great work from the team. Lap 15. Verstappen from Norris. Russell in P3. It's Red Bull versus Andretti in Singapore. Safety car is out. We have got a safety car on circuit. And we've got another crash. And my word, it's all happening here at Marina Bay this, this afternoon. Let's have a look at what's happened here. It's Antonio Giovinazzi on the intermediates. Um, my word. I mean, talk about breaking. Giovinazzi, there is a lot of money being cost to a lot of teams. The invoices that must be knocking around this paddock at the minute are very concerning. Fortunately, not either of our cars are having these issues. So at the moment, I'm quite happy with where we are with everything at this moment in time. We're going to start harvesting this battery and everything here, making sure we get the tyres back into a decent window. Just to bring you up to date in terms of the strategy view, we're okay at the moment on the inters towards the end. We are expecting it to stay damp now all the way, really, towards the very end. So we're going to be on inters for the rest of this race. We'll come back when we're back to green flag running. We are about to go racing once again. Max Verstappen will lead us away. He's just backing him up a little bit now. Um, Norris back in P2, so we are now back in striking distance of that Red Bull. We've got his battery fully charged. We've got the fuel up. And once again, we go racing. Verstappen from Norris, Russell in P3, Pierre Gasly actually had a little look at George Russell there, it must be said, as we ride on board with Pierre Gasly, George Russell is burning through his tyres a lot more than a few other cars, we're pretty decent on our tyres, and tyre wear could be key towards the end of this Grand Prix, we've got another around 41 laps to go on these tyres, I don't think we'll be pitting again, possibly could, Pit again, of course, if there's another safety car or a red flag, you never know what's going to happen. But at the moment, it's still damp on track, but it's been a decent restart. We are still P2 and P4. We're splitting the Red Bulls. We cannot Stay get running lost. here today. In my word, we've now got a VSC on circuit, and it's Lance Stroll who's crashed into turn 13. Let's have a little look at this one. We pulled away with Lance Stroll. You can't see the Andretti Cadillac because it's gone a little bit further up the road. Lance Stroll can't keep it on the road. And... Yeah, and Lance Stroll's not very happy at all. There's quite a lot of stars there at the bottom. Obviously, he had that big crash in real life, did Lance Stroll. But we have got a VSC. We now only have 13 runners left at this moment in time. Once again, we are harvesting. We are just making sure we've got our battery and our tyres right. A lot of this could come down to tyre management towards the end. Lando Norris is in the lead of the Singapore Grand Prix. We decided after the virtual safety car to really go for it with the ERS of the tyres. And for if we are going to pass Max Verstappen, we better get it done now. And my word, have we? Lando Norris leads the Singapore Grand Prix. Um, as we're just going to tell him to calm down a little bit now because I have absolutely burnt his tyres doing that. Lando Norris in the lead. Pierre Gasly is fancying a run at George Russell. But what a bit of driving that was from Lando Norris. We are now going to calm down on the tyres a little bit, but that has worked absolutely beautifully to get him in front of Max Verstappen. We now dictate the pace here in Singapore. Gasly's going to have another couple of laps at attacking George Russell. Hopefully, he can go for a movie and not quite yet, but we lead in Singapore. And two laps later, I think we've just decided we don't quite have the pace of Max Verstappen who's managed to get past us. He went for the aggressive overtake and fair play to Max. It was a lovely move down the inside. So as much as we're excited about getting into the lead, we're still up there with Max Verstappen. And as you can see in the background, Pierre Gasly at the halfway mark now struggling to keep pace with that Red Bull of George Russell. Um, he's five seconds in front of Carlos Sainz though. Bottas in P6, then comes Leclerc, Ocon Perez and Albon in the Aston Martin in P10. Very interesting indeed as we approach halfway. Uh, we're just again looking at the tyre wear. But at this moment, we're not out of this for the win. Lap 40, and George Russell has Russell got Lando well. Norris. We are struggling the on these intermediates at the moment now, and the Red Bulls, well, it must be said, have been probably quicker than us all weekend, but George Russell managing to get past Lando Norris there. You can see Pierre Gasly in the background, but George much. Russell in that Red Bull didn't quite manage to get it done there, but he's got it done now. George Russell in front of Lando Norris. He's got slightly better tyres at this moment in time. We are still pushing to try and get rid of the fuel on both cars. Gasly is comfortably P4. Uh, I'm not concerned at all with Pierre Gasly at this moment in time. Will it dry up towards the end is the key part. But I think intermediates all the way to the end seems reasonable now. We've got 23 laps to go over. Stappen from Russell at the front. Now, on lap 48, something rather interesting is happening because it's just gone to dry weather. Now, we're expecting a downpour 
in a little while. So I'm just copying what the Red Bulls are doing, if I'm totally honest. There's no magic formula behind this. Um, I feel at this moment in time, we just co cover the Red Bulls off. Both our cars at this moment in time are sitting pretty in P3 and P4. We don't want to take any risks. We're actually going to go a little bit lighter on the tyres now while the track is dry, just to ensure that we are basically keeping these intact. But at the moment, these, these intermediates might start burning up, but we're expecting the track to go back damp again in a couple of laps time. But at the moment, I'm going to show you the track map. Look how spaced out all the cars are. There is only really Bottas and Leclerc that are anywhere near each other. The rest of us are just driving his own laps, ma managing the pace, managing the tyres, and that's what this is about at the moment. 15 to go. 10 laps to go, and Pierre Gasly out of nowhere has found some pace, and he's now fighting with his teammate. I can't say I'm overly happy about this on the pit wall, but the two Andretti Cadillacs have been told you are free to race. DRS massively has helped Pierre Gasly, and now he's behind his teammate. Uh, sorry, he's in front of his teammate. Lando Norris is behind. He's not going to be overly impressed. We've been saving our tyres beautifully here. Uh, can we have one push towards the Red Bulls? A safety car would really make it spicy right about now. But at this moment in time, the two Andretti Cadillacs are just fighting each other. We're going to just uh, have a little look on board from Lando Norris's point of view as he's got the, uh, the Andretti of Pierre Gasly in front of him. Remember, Lando Norris got a multi-year contract. Pierre Gasly only got four months left on his contract. So there's a lot to consider here. But at the moment, Pierre Gasly showing my word. He has got some pace as the track is just on the borderline of wet and dry at this moment in time. So, Lando Norris is going to want to get past his teammate while DRS is still available. Final lap of the Grand Prix, and there has been literally nothing to tell you about for the last, what, 15 laps, 10 laps, apart from um, Gasly and Norris having a little bit of a battle. They've kind of just settled into it now, both of them. We're even going to turn them down on the fuel. Just make sure that we get to the end. Don't make any errors. Verstappen has cruised round all day. It must be said, if we have a look at the last laps, a 135.2 or 135.9, that's probably the difference in the two cars today. Um, and they've certainly, once they got past, never look back the two Red Bulls they are a stronger team overall but this wasn't a track remember that we were expected to do very well at and we have shown today that we are more than capable of doing so Pierre Gasly he's going to be loving this today because not only has he beat his teammate he's going to get on the podium he's overtaken him yes he got that DRS out when it was a dry track but of course He's managed to get up to him. He's overtaken him. And to be honest with you, Lando Norris hasn't really fought back. Um, he's kind of settled into P4. Maybe he knows that he's got a, a decent lead over the other cars around him in the championship. Um, he's not quite going to catch the Red Bulls, but he's certainly in front of the Ferraris and the Mercedes cars. So as we ride on board with Lando Norris, it's been a superb Grand Prix. Max Verstappen does take home a yet another win, but it must be said he's been made to fight for it in recent times. George Russell comes home, Peter. He'll be delighted with that. But Pierre Gasly is going to come round the final few corners. And what a race it's been for the Andretti Cadillacs. I didn't fancy us at the start of this episode, but I'll tell you something. I'm fancying us now because Pierre Gasly gets a podium in Singapore and Lando Norris comes home representing his car number, number four for Lando Norris. We have got to be very, very happy with that. The rest of the team is, uh, the rest of the grid, sorry, spaced out very much so. But let's get to the podium because that is a decent result. What a masterclass drive from Pierre Gasly today. Definitely a well-deserved podium. You've got to say their race strategy was very good indeed. It's hugs all round for the team. In fact, they all deserve a pat on the back as well for everything that they've achieved. The Frenchman was in sublime form today, fully deserving of his podium finish here. A second podium of the year for them, well earned after a demanding race out on the track. And you've got to think that Singapore will be buzzing now for many hours to come. He certainly will, and will certainly be buzzing in the Andretti Cadillac garage as well, because it must be said, Max Verstappen and George Russell looks incre incredibly happy at this moment in time. The Red Bull guy's looking happy, but Pierre Gasly looking rather chuffed with himself, and rightly so as well, because that was a decent, decent weekend 
from Pierre Gasly. Max Verstappen, as we saw, winning from George Russell. Pierre, P3. Lando, P4. Then Sainz, Leclerc. Uh, Bottas in P7. Did well again in the Audi. Perez, P8. Ocon, P9. And Alexander Albon in P10. It must be said, there's been some repair bills this weekend. Stroll, Porsche, Giovinazzi, Piastri, Sonoda, Joe Guan Yu, and Daniel Ricciardo. All DNFs. My word. Gunter Steiner's not going to be too happy. Uh, right, let's have a look at the driver's standings. Max Verstappen extends his lead at the top. But crucially, Lando Norris extends his lead over Checo Perez to a decent sum. I'm guessing that's 84 points. You might get to correct me down in the comments. Uh, but Pierre Gasly's now up to P7 in the driver's standings, overtaking his old teammate Esteban Ocon. That will be rather sweet. And he's looking upwards, upwards rather than downwards. Constructor standings-wise, Red Bull obviously leading the way. But it's another good weekend for Andretti Cadillac. Looking like we could possibly get P2 in this Constructor standings. 283 points now for Ferrari and Mercedes a further 80 back. There's some big teams that are getting beaten by Andretti Cadillacs and we're absolutely here for it. Please do like and subscribe. I hope you've had a great weekend and I'll see you on the next one. Sarah.